everyone, Amy Love here, and I thought I'd come on and just show you what I'm working on. This beautiful mess on my desk is the pink um, parfait cafe kit from Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, and I am excited to announce that I am de designing for Doreen this year, and I'm very excited about it. Doreen, thank you so much for letting me play with your beautiful digitals. And um, I chose the pink parfait cafe because I am in love with it. I mean, look at this. How pretty is that? And I went ahead and glossy accented up all the pearls because I just wanted them to have that shine on them. This is just such a beautiful kit. So what actually I'm going to do is um, put together some large paper clips because I wanted to have some um, paper clips to clip into this project that I am going to be making or trying to make anyway. And I thought this would be really cute. So I'm going to make a couple of these. Here's one I made already. Isn't it so cute? Love it. So I thought I would do one with you. So I went ahead and I did glossy accent some of the pieces. And some of the pieces I went ahead and stitched around the edge because, you know, I like the way they look. But I did want to go ahead and ink these edges up right here. I feel like I have an extra, extra pad on my thing. There we go. So I am going to use some vintage photo just around the edges. I think that will look very nice, but I'm absolutely in love with this kit and so inspired. It's just so pretty, Doreen. All right, yeah, it just needed a little. I think I will go ahead and do the um, back piece too. So what I'm going to do is kind of make like a pocket that I will slip the big old paper clip into. And the giant paper clips I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got the gold ones because I kind of like, it's kind of a really soft gold, not a brassy gold. So it's really pretty. I thought they were really pretty. So I'm gonna use those. And I'm gonna put these together and just make a pocket that this will go up into. But I wanna add a lace behind here and I'm going to use um, this pleated tool trim in pink that I got from Angel Dream Crafts of course and it's a little long so I'm going to put it in and then I'm probably going to trim it off some and I'm just going to hot glue it down because I like that it's sticking out but for the uh, paper clip I felt like it was a little long for that so I'll just trim off and then use the extra bits for something else because here's the extra bits I cut off of the last one and this would just be pretty just crinkled up and glued down <laughs> I love the soft tool so cute so that's what I want it peeking out from there, but I want it to be shorter. So we're going to go ahead and trim that. And I will, of course, have a link to this beautiful kit and Doreen's Etsy uh, below in the description box. So you can go get it because it is gorgeous. I mean, every piece of it is just so yummy and pretty. All right, so I want to put this one on the back, I think. So I'm going to start by gluing the top piece together. I always put too much glue, so I have to squeeze the extra out, <laughs> pull it off. Oh my gosh, it's so cute already, and of course it's crooked. I can't do anything straight, but that's all right. It's shabby chic. It doesn't have to be straight. <laughs> but I can just ink whatever is left over or trim it off. So I'm going to glue this side down and this side down. There we go. glue bits it's so cute and so now it just has a little pocket that this will just slide right into but 
but I'm not ready to do that yet. I have some more bits to glue down here. It's easier to work on it for me without it being on the clip. So I like to slide in the clip um, after I put most of the bits on. So I do want to add some sorry silk, which uh, um, I get from Angel Dream Crafts, and I love this creamy color. But I don't want to cover up too much of the image because the image is gorgeous. Look how pretty it is. But I am going to trim off, not with my fabric scissors. Oh my gosh. Anybody else do that? Don't want to do that, so I'm going to use my paper scissors. I'm going to cut off the extra and then ink it back up. There we go. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to keep on this one. I kind of um, opened it up wider, but I want to keep it a little uh, thinner because this image is just, I don't want to cover up a bunch of it. So I'm going to just start right here. I'm just going to kind of squinch it up as we go. So, there we go. Oh, yeah. That looks nice. Very cute. All right, let me squinch it the rest of the way down. <laughs> That's the technical term that we're going to use. Squinch. Yes. It's nice like that. And so I am just making these because they're fun to make, but I will, um, I'm not going to use them all for the project that I'm working on. So I will have some of these available in my Etsy and you can find a link to my Etsy below also. How cute. It's so cute. Okay. I really like that. A little dab of glue there and there. Okay. I like that. Now on that one, I put this on and I don't know if I want to do that with this one because it's so big. Let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see what it looks like. This beautiful um, trim I also get from Angel Dream Crafts. It's just so pretty. And like each time I cut one off, it's just such a statement by itself. I rarely use the whole trim. I almost always use one piece at a time because <laughs> it's gorgeous. And I just love the way it looks. So I'm going to snip that off of there. I probably should use my detail scissors, but my desk is already such a mess. I'm going to get out another pair of scissors too. <laughs> Mm. All right. I hope you're all finding a uh, time to craft today. Seems like I don't have enough time to craft, but let's be honest. I would just craft all day and, and never leave my room if I could. And then I, <laughs> I would never get anything else done. So there's other things that have to get done. I think I am going to actually use that. I like that. So let me see. I have a little snippet. I think I have a smaller snippet somewhere somewhere in this mess on my desk. I thought I had a smaller snippet. Well the thing is is I've got so many piles here I can't <laughs> I can't find anything. Goodness gracious. So I'm just gonna cut this. I won't need the whole thing and then I'll save the flower for something else. This is um, a cute um, trim that I got from Angel Dream Crafts because I kind of just want an extra something uh, behind this when I glue it down. But look at how pretty it is. Okay, we're going to do that. So let me glue this right there. Love it. Okay. I'm going to put my glue on here. Oh, 
that is still pretty. I do want to put something along the side of it. Let me see. Let's see what I got in here. Do I have some flatback pearls in here? I mean, sometimes I do. I kind of like that really thin flatback pearl that's on the edge of this. It's really pretty. I think somebody gifted this to me, but I don't. I don't remember who. But I do love it. I think I want to put pearls. I thought about putting the uh, rhinestone cup chain, but. Because this is covered in pearls, I just think it would be cute. All right, let me go ahead and put this drawer up so I have less things on my desk driving me crazy. So I think it would be cute with the pearls. And let's see, I've got the flat back right here. I mean, although I do love rhinestone chain on everything, I feel like I feel like the pearls just kind of makes more sense for this one. So let's see. I'm just gonna try to use my hot glue and just make a really thin bead of glue, but um, I might wanna use glossy accents for this, but let's just see if this will work. I mean, it should be fine. Gluing it to paper with the hot glue should be just fine. Put that down here. Put it down there. <laughs> yes, adorable. And I, I left the strings on from where I sewed around the edges just because I like strings hanging off. I like it. I don't like it in a loop though. I like them just hanging out. Okay. Now on here, on the other one, I used one of these adorable bows. Here's one of a smaller one. Aren't they so cute? All right, so these come out of that kit. And um, I printed them on some cardstock and then I stickled just around the middle um, circle, the, the pearl in the middle. I just think they're so cute. So I did um, cut a couple of these out, which it is cute right there. Does it need something behind it is the only thing. Maybe, maybe a puff of this tool. I just like adding a tool wherever I can. I just feel like it gives like such a great softness and um, I love it. So I'm gonna do that. So always keep your snippety snips. I learned that from uh, Roseanne. Keep, keep all your little bits or your fuzzies because you never know when they are gonna come in handy. See how cute, how cute this is. All right, now let's go ahead and slide the paper clip in there. You know, as far as you want. So that will be totally cute, clipped onto um, something. That would be adorable. Um, I don't want to, I mean, you could, you know, as much as you want, but I want a lot uh, to clip on so it will be really tall, but that's okay because I'm going to clip it in like a pocket inside of something. But it would be cute also to put like a tab, one of these cute, adorable tabs on the top so it has like a pull tab. But I don't think I'm going to do that on this one because I don't want to cover up the pearls. The pearl in the key is beautiful and I love it so much. So what I'm going to do is make a mess probably, but that's okay. I'm just gonna add some glue to uh, the top part of this. And then I'm gonna do my best to slide it in there. Oh yeah, it's fine. Slide it the way I want it. From the back, I can tell easier if it's gonna be uh, straight, if it's straight or not. <laughs> with the top from the front because I got so much going on and then I am just going to add some uh, to the edges and then give it a pinch oh yeah so cute 
And so now you have this adorable paper clip with these beautiful images. So there's that one. And here is the one that I made earlier. And I am going to make some more off camera with some more of these beautiful images. I mean, look at this. I love this kit so much, Doreen. And then I've got some other fun stuff coming up uh, using this same kit. So make sure you stay tuned and don't forget to follow the link below um, to Doreen's Etsy shop, Ooh La La Vintage Treasures, and uh, pick up this beautiful kit, which is Pink Parfait Cafe. I love it so much. And thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you on the next one. Bye everybody.